Hello, I'm James and welcome to Meetster once again and thank you for joining us. This is the channel where we answer all the pressing questions about food. And obviously the question you've been dying to ask is, which type of Spanish steak is best? And is it better than rare breed British? And I know you've been pondering this. So today we have a rare breed British sirloin bone-in and to match it or compare it with, should I say, we have a steak from the Basque region of Spain and a steak from Galicia. Now, the Galician steak from the uh, Rubia Gallega uh, breed has become really popular recently and I can tell that because it's uh, our most popular video so far was about that type of steak. And uh, in that video we compared it to a British uh, rare breed and for the price we decided that unless it was a special occasion you might stick with the British because the Galician was about twice the price but we found another type, the Basque um, steak and it has a similar profile to the Galician um, but it's not as well known and it's in the middle price wise so I'm really interested to find out and uh, in order to do that we have as I said three of the same cuts that sirloin with the bone in and we're going to barbecue all of the steaks which is our favorite way of cooking steak and they are just going to be seasoned simply with salt and in that way we will just taste the beef and find out which is best so let's get on with it Okay, the steaks have been resting for about 10-15 minutes now and for once they came out exactly as I wanted them to. Um, this Basque steak was quite a lot thinner so it cooked it for a, a little less time but I did use a temperature uh, thermometer sorry, and they were 130 degrees Fahrenheit which is roughly medium rare. So anyway, I'm really excited to taste these and I've cut them quite thin. Um, I want to see how tender they are. Here we go. This is the British beef. It's really nicely seasoned. There's not a lot of um, dry aging flavor in there. Um, it wasn't as marbled as the others. So let's taste the medium one, the Basque steak. It's the first time I've ever tasted it. it smells really well aged. Mm. I've got to have another piece, sorry. Mm. It's really delicious. Okay, right, onto the Galician one. This one you could smell when it was cooking how much aging it had had. Mmm. Okay, all of these steaks are absolutely delicious. The British one um, feels like it has far less aging than the others. You could tell by the colour before it was cooked. Um, it had less marbling, it is less tender, um, but saying that, absolutely delicious. It would be really good for a steak sandwich, I think. Mm. Very clean, nice flavour, um, not too irony, if that makes sense. And then the Basque one, it has a really rich flavour. Mm. It's um, a bit more meaty. It has um, a stronger flavour, but it's not too strong. It's, it's nowhere near as strong as the Galician steak. It's really like... It's a very well-aged British um, steak. This was quite a thin piece, as I said, so um, maybe a bit difficult to tell in this test. And then that that steak is um, one. Of, it's probably the best sirloin steak I've ever had. I just um, would want to sit here and eat the whole thing. Oh my god! In this test today. Mm, they're all delicious, but the Galician steak is 10 times better. I think it's absolutely one of the best steaks I've had. 
So I would highly recommend that. Mm. We'd previously we tested ribeyes, uh, British and Galithian, and it wasn't a massive difference because they're both really fatty, but the Galithian seemed to have more fat in it in the sirloin than the British one did. And just the flavour, it just keeps going. It's like um, when you taste wine and a wine that's like quite rich and bold and it, and it sort of lingers for ages in your mouth. Absolutely stunning. So thanks for finding this video today and coming to watch. If you like what you see and you find it useful, please find the subscribe button wherever it is on the screen and hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It's really nice feedback for us to know we're going in the right direction. If you think this is the worst video you've ever seen, uh, and I'm stealing this phrase from someone else, just hit the thumbs down button twice for us there. Thank you very much.